my people cherish the Nanai. We are proud and happy of its arrival, as it is our traditional totem symbol, as well as a cultural identity symbol for us. The Nanai arises from the ground in cycles of eight years. My name is Lemeki. I am the clan leader, a tribal chief of the Malu people. For Lemeki and his people in the Emelu forest of the Pacific Island nation of Fiji, events in their lives and in their culture are tied to the eight year cycle of the Nanai cicada, a large insect that spends much of its life cycle dormant in trees. Because the Nanai depends on trees for its nourishment through much of its life cycle, a healthy forest rich in biodiversity is essential for the Emalu people. In protecting and promoting this biodiversity for the health of the Nanai, the Emalu people work with the Red Plus program. Learn about it here on Get Ready, brought to you by the World Bank and the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility. I am Eugene Fongwa. When the Nanai rises above ground, one of the creatures will be singing from a tree outside my door, very early in the morning. Before the entire village becomes aware of its presence, its song is a sign to me that the Nanai are here among us. The Nanai is a very precious living creature to my people. It is also a staple food for our community. But the size of the Emelu forest has become smaller due to the years of cutting the trees, forcing the Nanai to find other places to live. The cicada is no longer unique to Emelu. A century ago, when our forests were many, the Nanai would only arise on lands belonging to my people, the Malu. But today, it has spread to the lands of the Burentu, Koriva, Vusu, Nabil, and Nadruku people. The example of the Nanai is one of the ways in which the forest supports a wide variety of uses for the indigenous peoples who depend on it. Bulavinaka is one of those people. The many uses of our forests include providing a habitat for wildlife, purifying our drinking water, producing healthier air, improving health and well-being in our villages, and providing wood for food preparation. Red Plus is based on the fact that trees store carbon, which is a chemical that contributes to climate change. Preserving the world's forest, as indigenous peoples and local communities around the world have done for generations, helps to protect the air as it reduces the impact of climate change. If we cut down our forest, we will no longer benefit from the clean, pure air it produces. Protecting the forest also helps our gardens and food sources. William Nasso, who is 28, represents younger people in his village. He says improving the health of the forest makes the health of the people better. One of the greatest benefits we have found is having access to plants and trees that are used for indigenous Fijian traditional medicines and herbal remedies. Before, we used to look for them in faraway reaches of the forests, but today they are easily available in the shrubs and forest trees near our village. That's also true for food plants. We don't need to go very far from our village to look for greens like taro leaves, Fiji fern otta plant and other edibles. Since we began protecting our forests and caring for their growth, many of the trees and plants we use for food have begun to appear very near our homes. The Red Plus program helps indigenous communities do this as part of its larger mission to help clean the world's air. Here's how this happens. To reduce the amount of carbon in the air, countries are compensated for the amount of carbon their forests take out of the air. Protecting the forest and the biodiversity it contains thus provides real benefits, part of which are shared with the communities that help protect the forest. In Fiji, 
Indigenous communities that help remove carbon in measurable amounts can receive goods and services based on the effectiveness of their work. Red Plus has brought development into our village. We have established a nursery species of indigenous trees where Red Plus has been buying trees. The Red Plus project also assured us of their help to improve our access to safe drinking water. We are waiting for them on this. Our village meeting house was constructed through funds given by Red Plus to our women's club when we hosted workshops and training. As with the importance of women's involvement, the involvement of younger Fiji villagers is an important way forward. Seleta Givuni is a member of the National Red Plus Operation in Fiji. He says the training and other benefits for young people will help to keep preservation and progress going. The preservation and the conservation of biodiversity and the restoration of it to maintain the role of ecosystem services for such biodiversity, especially near Malu, we felt that it is taking uh, a, a strong foothold for the young ones, and this is very important for their lives moving forward. He says that what happens in the Red Plus program in Fiji is only part of the potential for Red Plus around the world. I believe this is a way that uh, other countries could follow through to see a success and the importance of uh, capacity building. And he says, he tells people in Fiji that there is a crucial spiritual benefit to preserving the health of the forest and creatures such as the Nanai that live in it. We have a spirituality element in us that binds us to uh, the sovereign realm of the provider of all that we have now. So through this project of uh, Red Plus, my organization specifically share the spirituality element of um, climate change and how it affects its people. And one dominant core uh, issue of discussion there is we are losing our biodiversity. We are losing our source of life. We are losing the benevolence of the blessings that we continue to have from our forefathers. So there is no other generation to do this than us. Get Ready is a production of the World Bank and Developing Radio Partners. I am Eugene Fongwa. Mm -hmm.